Hello everyone, this is a short video on the software I use to record my lessons. Um, I use a combination of a piece of software called Snagit, which records um, the screen, effectively it's a screen recorder, and I use Microsoft PowerPoint 2019, um, and that's it really, that's all the software I use. Snagit, uh, you can get a free trial of it. Um, but I've purchased it and it's it's not too expensive. It's uh, £48, I think. Uh, that's how much I paid for. Yeah, £48 and 43p. And then uh, to do the writing, I use a uh, graphics tablet, which is not, <laughs> it's not, the, it's not the one that costs three grand. It's much, much cheaper than that. I think I paid £60 for it. It's by this company called Wacom. And it's really good. It's But again, you can get cheaper versions, which work really well. I'm just going to talk you through Snagit real quick as to how to use it. When you uh, load and install Snagit for the first time it will give you this little menu screen here and it gives you the option of like taking an image or recording a video. Um, the best practice is probably to keep the cursor capture on so it records the mouse movement which is really nice because you can highlight things. You can switch between webcam and the monitor as well and you've just really got to press the big red button to start recording when you press the big red button first of all it will give you this yellow box here which asks you to highlight the area of the screen that you want to record and then there'll be this little pop-up window here at the bottom which um, you can sort of that red button there starts the recording and you can test the mic and all sorts and you can reset the recording as well. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this, but in the in the corner somewhere, or sometimes it appears at the top, um, is a little kind of menu screen, and that pauses the video. So if you press that, that pauses it. And I think that switches between the webcam and the screen. So there's a pause and so on. And then when you're kind of like finished with the video, and you think, you know what, that's fine, I've done it. Then you just press the stop button, and that stops recording. And then it jumps to the editor and this is the editor here so unfortunately you can't splice videos together you kind of have to do it in one go so you do need a bit of preparation but your videos appear down the bottom actually let me see if i can get the editor going on mine unfortunately i can't but this is the editor and then the videos appear at the bottom and you've just got to save it and I think there's a way but I haven't set this up but there's a way to upload it to your YouTube channel directly from the piece of software but I don't bother what I just do is I go to my YouTube oops I go to uh, YouTube and so this is my YouTube channel and I go to um, YouTube studio You've probably done this a hundred times already but this is my YouTube channel and when it loads up so this is it here and where it says create you just drag and drop the video you want um there's a really cool feature that if you put the age restriction on it it makes sure that no comments can be made which is great so you don't get annoying comments from little kids you know or silly little things like that it's just blocked completely you just say it's made for kids and that's that's it basically um just real quick because i know it's gone a bit over um the, the the thing i use to kind of write on is i just use powerpoint but i don't use the display mode uh so i don't hear for example when you say like present mode sorry i don't use that I just use the editing mode. If you have a graphics tablet, if you plug the graphics tablet in first and then load up PowerPoint, you'll see this thing at the top which says draw. If you click on that, it gives you the option to draw basically. Um, so you've got pens and you can select uh, the color, the size and so on. If there's any cool snazzy rainbow pen. And then you can sort of write on the screen like this with your graphics tablet. Let me actually do it here. And this is still in editing mode and it's got highlighters and so on like this. So you can just write on this. So basically the school PowerPoints that I've made, um, I just use them really. So here, you know, here's the slides and I just basically 
write on the slides as if I'm writing on a bit of paper. And then again, once you finish with your video, you press the pause button and it will take you to this one here and this little menu here at the bottom. And you just basically press the stop button and upload it. And that's as simple as that really. Snag it's great. It's not, it's, I mean, it's, it's 50, 50 pounds worth of software, but it's, it's a one-time purchase. You can use it as much as you want for that, really. And it's, um, it's dead, dead simple, really. It's simpler than some of the other stuff out there. Um, let me know if you want to make, if you want a bit more help in uploading and stuff like that. But uh, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, everyone. And I hope to see you all soon. S stay safe and well. Oops, sorry, I forgot to press pause. Uh,